This Flutter app uses the position widget to make sure these images and this big five title maintain specific positions relative to the screen. Let's code this app from scratch. We start off with an empty VS Code window. The first thing I'll do is open up the folder that I have created specifically for this project. Next, I'll open up the terminal and use the command flutter create demo underscore app to create a new project inside a folder called demo underscore app. We can see that our project has now been created. I'll create a new folder inside this demo underscore app folder called images, which is where we're going to put the images we're going to use for this project. I'll open up the file explorer, copy the images I need from my collection of images and paste them inside this images folder. Next, I'll go to the pubspec.yml file, scroll to the assets section and comment this code and remove some of this text so that we remain with a line pointing to the images folder. I'll now go to the main dot file and change this device to Chrome so that we are later able to run this app on the browser. Next, I'll change the title of this app, remove the comments from this code and remove some of this code so that we remain with only a blank scaffold. Inside the body of the scaffold, we will have a stack widget inside of which we will have the positioned widgets that hold our images. Our first child in this stack will be the position widget that holds the lion image. We will give it a height of 100 pixels, a width of 100 pixels, a left offset of the distance we get when we subtract the width of this position widget from the screen width and divide by 2 and its child will be a card widget that holds an image.asset which will show our lion's image. Next we will have the positioned widget for our leopard image. We will give it a height of 100 pixels, a width of 100 pixels, a top offset of the distance we get when we subtract the height of this position widget from the screen height and divide by 2 and its child will be a card widget that holds an image dot asset that shows our leopard image. Next we will have the position widget for the buffalo image. It will have a height of 100, a width of 100, a top offset of the distance we get when we subtract 100 from the height of the screen then divide by 2, a right offset of 0 and a child which will be a card widget whose child will be an image dot asset set that shows our buffalo image. Next we will have the position widget that holds the rhino image. It will have a height and width of 100 pixels, a left offset of the distance we get when we divide the screen width by 7, a bottom offset of 0 and a child which will be a card widget which holds an image dot asset that shows our rhino image. Next we will have the positioned widget that holds the elephant image. It will have a height of 100, a width of 100, a bottom offset of 0, a right offset of the distance we get when we divide the screen width by 7 and its child will be a card widget that holds the image dot asset that shows the elephant image. Lastly we will have the position widget that holds the big 5 title. It will have a height of 100, a width of 100, a top offset which is the distance you get when we subtract the height of the position widget from the screen height then divide by 2 and its left offset will be the distance you get when we subtract the width of the position widget from the screen width and divide by 2. Its child will be a card widget with a border radius of 50 pixels and the child of this card will be a centered text widget that says the big five with a font size of 17 and a font weight of 600. One small change to the code, let's give the position widget for the rhino image a bottom offset of 0 pixels. We are done writing this code, so let's run this app to check it out. Our app has now been built. I'm going to close this inspector tab then zoom in on our app window. When I resize this window, we can see that the images on the title maintain specific positions relative to the screen depending on the offset sets that we defined in the code. And that is how you set up the position widget in Flutter. If you have enjoyed this video and found value in it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it useful as well. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you get notified every time I upload a new video.